we have a lead. I'm going to Lucky's room and search for yeah, his notes. Think the folks here like strangers, because some of them are looking at us like maybe not. Pavori, don't worry. This aesthetic reminds me of Fallbrook. These sublight folks really know how to overhaul a place. If they mess with any of you, you let me know. I'll I'll beat their ass. Okay, so it's on the third floor. I'm curious to see what type of notes Lucky managed to write down. Day one, Spacer's Choice may have left in a hurry, but they didn't forget to lock the doors on their way out. Most of the facilities are sealed up tighter than a top rugger's safe. Time to do some digging. Day six. Caught a break today. Met a scavenger who claims to be a salesman for Spacer's Choice. Sold me a key to the Office of Creative Incubation. Let's just say this guy is about as lucid as a sprat in a visitless factory. But I'm spending Minnie's bits, so I can afford to take a chance. Okay, so he actually did have a lead. Especially since he had access to the facility. Day 7, it worked. Clarence mostly. Whoever you are, I'm drinking to you tonight. Day 10, Olivia Ambrose's office and journal ought to be in the Syntheticsis and Mel Factory Center. The bad news is it's sealed up and at the ass end of the canyon. The good news is I should be able to open it from Big Wings at Mid Terminal in OCI. Day 13. OCI is crawling with marauders, and I've got a few other leads to chase down. Could be nothing, but my gut tells me there's more to this place than a missing journal. Hmm. Time to turn over a few rocks and see what crawls out. I'm leaving the OCI key in the safe. The combo is 4815. Lucky got into this case, found some clues and evidence, and then he realized he bit off more than he can chew. Especially since he found some extra shit. I'm not surprised. That could definitely explain why he got killed. A preserved eye. The eye comes out. Uh, I don't even want to know. I really hope this ain't a sign of things to come. I don't even want to know. This is pretty disgusting, honestly. Holy cow. Oh boy. First the arm. And now the eye. Let me just check my quest quickly. Journal. Um. I wonder if I can talk to someone because I could have sworn the bartender so how you feeling? Good. said something about me talking to one of his friends you know don't forget to close your tab before you head out this is the best joint in the system huh who's this now wonder if they could ah who am I kidding holy shit a fresh face haven't seen your like in years. Don't know what brought you to the most dangerous corner of this solar system, pal. But you're welcome here. Oh, you talked to Lex yet? She tell you to keep it civil? You wouldn't guess to talk to her, but that lady's got a mean left hook. I talked to her. She mentioned you were some kind of journalist. Some kind. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Got into reporting thinking I was going to be some sort of public intellectual. What a joke. Spent 95% of my time playing stenographer to the board, and the rest writing puff pieces on the chairman's latest beard trim. Real life and death shit. Hmm. So, how's a Byzantium journalist end up stuck in this backwater? When the project fell apart, Spacer's Choice refused to extract me. They left me here to rot. 
Listen, I hate asking for handouts, but my back's against the wall here. If you're going back out there, do you think you'd be willing to do an old bastard a small favor? Details first, promises later. Told you I was a journalist, right? Mm -hmm. I was here on a story back when Project Gorgon was active. I was doing an interview series for Spacer's Choice. Recorded them all on these little portable phonographs. But when everything fell to shit, Spacer's Choice wouldn't let me leave. In terms of my reporting contract unmet, they said. Of course, of course. You hid them, and now you need me to get them for you. That about cover it. Right on the money. Look at me, I'm no fighter. I've never even touched a gun. But you, you're just the right amount of rough around the edges. Help me get my recordings back so I can finally get the hell out of here. Okay, well, why stash the recordings? Someone had been trying to steal them since the day my assistant and I started interviewing. Couldn't even keep them in my safe. They always found a way in. So I took to hiding them all over the fucking asteroid. Thought I was so clever. What a fool I was. You mentioned an assistant. Where are they now? Oh, Georgie? Yeah, she helped me with interviews. A real whiz with the portable recorder tech, too. When things got crazy, I shoved her onto the last ship off Gorgon. With any luck, she's safe and comfortable in Byzantium. She tried every which way to stay, but it was my contract keeping us here, not hers. Didn't seem fair she'd have to suffer just because I made a bad deal. Damn, that sucks. I feel bad for this journalist. It's your lucky day, Roscoe. I'll get those recordings for you. No shit? Mm -hmm. That's downright civilized of you. All right. One of them I stash in the Office of Creative Incubation, in the projector room on the third floor. I give another to my friend Birdie to keep in her apartment, just outside OCI's upper entrance. Why there? Seems like a good idea at the time. Someone had started a fire, folks were shooting other folks. It was a madhouse. Got it. Next. You'll find another in the chem lab. It's in the main lab storage room. You ran all over Gorgon just to hide your recordings. Didn't have much of a choice. The primals had gotten loose, couple of them were chasing me. The recordings just ended up wherever I hid. All right, easy enough. The others? The final one is in human inquiry and auditing. It's tucked behind a pipe in observation room B. The observation room? Wouldn't someone have seen you? What with the test subjects running loose, the researchers were surprisingly unobservant. Got it. I'll be back. Strength to your sword arm, friend. And thank you. Roscoe seems pretty nice. This is a family business. Chin up, look sh Quit staring. I ain't here for your entertainment. My bad. Fuck me, am I right? So, I assume this would be another friend of Lucky's? We're all friends here. Even when we ain't. So, that means you're not friends if you're not friends. Like, that doesn't make any sense. The hell? Okay, maybe another friend of Lucky's? You don't look like one of the salvagers, no? Don't really seem like the type. You've got the look of someone who's traveled far to get here and whose journey is far from over. You are right on the spot. You must be some fortune teller, honestly. Oh, what makes you say that? Confidence. The scavengers around here, they're faking it. You're the real deal. I don't know if you're bound for the old runes, but in case you are, can you look into something? I'd do it myself, but of course, the Marauders would eat me alive. Depends on what you need. Um, looking for something out there. Been paying Sublight to help me, but they haven't made much progress. This something must be valuable. It is to me, but apparently it's junk to Sublight. My husband and I worked on Gorgon during the good times. Jerome was on maintenance duty. I cleaned out test tubes till they sparkled. Where's Jerome now? Nowhere good, that's for sure. In his final hours, Gorgon was a war zone. Violence broke out in the labs. The hills were full of marauders. 
You couldn't take a leisurely stroll without an armed escort. When the order came through to evacuate, non-essential personnel drew a lottery to see who would board the first wave of ships. Jerome won. I lost. As soon as I wasn't looking, Jerome switched our tickets and pushed me to the front of the line. I got to leave. Jerome stayed behind. Wow. I never saw him again. Wow. He really has a good art. That was really noble of him. That Jerome always chose the right thing, even when it got him killed. This place is greedy. Took my Jerome, and it would have taken me too. I just want one thing back. His old hip flask. I gave it to him the day we signed our marriage contract. And he carried it wherever he went. I know it's still here. What do you think happened to Jerome? No point in denying it. He died on this rock. Likely torn apart by marauders. Unless he took care of himself on his own terms. I don't like to imagine what happened. But I know I have to accept it. I could keep an eye out for that flask. You'd really do that for me? Yeah. Law. And I'll bet you're worth ten of those sublight sprats. I don't have much, but if you help me, there's a little set aside for the occasion. Jerome used to drink with his buddies in a small kitchen opposite the maintenance shed. Might be a good place to check first. I wanted to ask you something first. Yeah? Did you know Lucky Montoya? That old flirt? <laughs> yeah, I let him buy me a drink or two. He talked my ear off about exciting jobs he'd done. All lies, I'm sure. He fell asleep with his head on my shoulder. That man had baggage like you wouldn't believe. I didn't think anyone could be lonelier than me. Damn. Did he mention anything about the Gorgon research facility? He bragged about having the key to some sort of maintenance area in one of the old buildings. I never saw it, so I just assumed he was talking himself up. He also asked if I wanted to see something gross and slimy he kept in his room, but I declined, politely. Was he depressed? He put on quite a front, but I think he was weary. Like he'd seen too much and had too little to show for it. I guess we were kindred spirits in a way. That's all. Thanks for your time. Sure thing. My condolences if you two were close. Be seeing you. Wow, so two of his buddies, kind of, journalist wants to leave, Leonora wants her husband's flask back, naturally. I would want it too, as a token of memories. So let's head on out. I mean, I don't mind having these two around, but I think I should, well, not should, but I'm going to change my companions. That way I'm not using the same ones over and over again. Don't you worry, Mr. Lucky Spirit. We're going to finish your work and put you to rest good and proper. This is Every why I love here, these two. better be worth carrying around a man's eyeball. Listen, that's what I'm saying. That is what I'm saying. What's up? Um, let's talk about this Gorgon job. Something ain't right here, Captain. We ought to tread carefully. All this cloak and dagger for a journal? I ain't buying it. You think there's something more to this? Yeah. The whole thing stinks of a cover-up. I'm used to folks leaving their messes behind for all the colony to see. Hell, look at Monarch. So imagine what they'd actually be trying to hide. Captain, it's going to be bad. Huh. We're no strangers to corporate shenanigans, Nokia. I know. We've seen our fair share of awful in this colony, that's for damn sure. All I'm saying is, be careful. Something feels different about this one. And what... Oh, what about you, Pravari? What do you think? Yeah. Well, I actually did ask her about that, huh? Alright, let's go back to the ship and I'll switch my companions. 
The spat shack. Error. Vermin suction nozzle not attached. This unit is unprepared for specialized eradication procedures. Eradication? Are you Rhea Ripley? Who cares about eradication? So yes, I got the preacher and I got the machine. Uh, what mission should I do? I'm curious. Because there's a whole bunch of interesting side quests I can do. Actually, I feel very romantic today. So... Let me see here. Yeah, I'm gonna search for the flask in the ruins, so... Seems like it's pretty close over here. Let's head on out and see if we're able to at least find this woman's token, if anything. Okay, so it seems like we're not gonna go at this straightly. But then again, I'm a lover of ladies. I don't do things straightly, so we shall fight. Here's a little trick I learned in prison. Of course you did. Do you got any loot for me? Thank you. What the hell? Sam! He stomped him to death. And squirted liquid acid on him. I actually like this machine. I had to get rid of a couple of guns. Because, number one, I'm not gonna use it. I mean, don't... Get me wrong, the weapons in this game are pretty... Oh, a dead body! And you're eating it! How cute! So, don't get me wrong, the weapons in this game are pretty fun to collect, but after a while, it's just the same thing. So, I might as well just, you know... Um... Hold on, let me check. Is this the right area? Huh... So it is. Let's go. Battery levels are fully charged. You have so much energy. I love this. Good work, Sam. Thank you, customer. Sam, no. Merciless on germs. I'm not a customer, but that's cute. Back to work, Sam. Vicar. Yes, you caught me ruminating again. Guilty as charged. Then stop What's being fucking guilty. So, let me see here. Max, what's your take on this whole Gorgon business? Perhaps it's just my judicious nature, but I think we should be careful if we're following up on this lucky fellow's message. Why do you say that? Especially since you're the second person who told me this. I've always felt caution as the best approach when one has delivered a message attached to a severed limb. Oh, noted. Noted. Uh, do you think it's a setup? He sounded lost, perhaps slightly untethered from reality. A feeling I know all too well. With that acid trip, right? It doesn't strike me as a setup, but I still advise caution. Okay, well... So you think we should look into it? Why not? It is what we do, isn't it? Hmm. Okay, talk to you later. So we are here. Whole place is empty. Don't see any living bodies. Uh, I spoke too soon. This... May you find peace in death. Right in the knee. Oh, lordy, lordy. Sam, I never knew you would be so... What the hell? Sam, you're squirting everywhere, bro. And what am I being affected with? Crazy shit. Look at all these cans. Wow. So much dead buddies. So little time. And I'll let them beat up whoever they want to beat. Let me just steal some shit. Okay, okay. Perfect. 
Oh, what's this? Day zero, ship just left. Wall blessed for getting Leonora off this blasted rock. Etheridge called me a fool for giving her my ticket, but Etheridge is a dumbass. So what does he know? I'll do it again in a second. From now on, my only goal is survival until Space's Choice comes back for the rest of us. Damn, Jerome. I'm so sorry, bro. If only you knew what was going to happen. And you know what? You're right. Etheridge is a dumbass. I can tell you really love her so much. And that's the type of love I have for my work wife. I'm willing to die for her at this point. I don't care. I, my heart, I will find my way home to you. Day one. Some of us sheltered in the mines last night, taking turns, keeping watch. I don't care to imagine what happened to the others who aren't here. I can hear marauders screaming in the hills. Wow, they're just... What? I think... Isn't the marauders the type of people that have lost their mind, so they're just brainlessly doing whatever they want to do? Without any type of emotion or care? Day two, used a little Adrena time today. Not much, just enough to stay alert. Lucky I did, or we wouldn't have heard those man mantisaurs coming in time to get the hell out of there. Going to search out a different cavern to shelter in tomorrow. Day three, mine's not safe. Well, damn it. Shouldn't have gone in there in the first place. I think we were exposed to something in the air, maybe. Most of us made it over to the apartment. We've packed in here like Soltuna for now, but hopefully we can get a few more units barricaded and sealed up tight. Make them safe so we can spread out a little more. Day six, I went by Elle's and my old apartment while hunting for supplies and stashed the flask she gave me on the day we signed our marriage contract. Just in case something happens and she comes looking, maybe she'll find it. Even if she doesn't find, well, that's if some shitless looter doesn't find it first. It's pretty funny how Jermone actually hid the flask. Did he knew he wasn't going to make it? Low key. Day seven. Carlson's been short with everyone today. Carlson. Most days you could drop a flaying wrench on her foot and the woman would apologize for being in the way. But for a minute there, I really thought she was going to stab Simon. Day eight. Ambushed by marauders in the night. Had to use Adrena time again to keep awake. Sorry. I didn't have much choice. Even with the Adreno time, I almost can't believe I outlasted them. Next time, maybe best not to think about next time. Wow, he had to kill so many of them. But he was just defending himself. What could he do? Not, not defend himself? That doesn't make any sense. Day 15. Starting to think we're spaced, but can't think like that. Gonna get back to you, Lenora, I swear. I miss you like breathing. Low on Andrina time, gonna go look for more. Day 22, L just gotta get back to L. Day 34, Enrich stole my mock apple, that void forsaken Spratsack. Wanted to unzip his arms off and beat him with him. I could, could do it. He sleeps, so weak, so stupid, stupid Enthrage. Day 42, where in the system is Spacer's Choice? Where are those blasted ships they promised they'll send for us? Did they forget we're here? Makes a man wonder. All my loyalty and for what? Only loyal to L now. Day 46. Maybe they abandoned us. It's on purpose. I know it. On purpose. They left us here to die. They left us here to die. Oh no, he's getting crazy. Day 49. If Etheridge steals what's mine again, I'll end him. Day L L L L L. It's sad how even though he's slowly losing his mind and humanity, he's still thinking about his wife. Day question mark. How long does it take to send help? How long, how long? Come back and face us, you cowards. Spacers cowards. Day question mark plus one. I feel sick be sigh trying to pick fit picture Al's face and I can't remember. Forgive me, L. 
Etheridge dead deserved it. Day. Day. L. Back to what I was saying. This place is steeped in desolation and despair. The natural habitat of marauders. Vicar, I know you just love talking, but we got someone trying to kill us, so... It's best not to, you know, give them any reasons to use us as target practice. Crossing. Actually... Oh my god, Sam, you're so fucking loud, bro. Okay, these are the apartments right here. And judging by that little green arrow, it's upstairs, so... Uh, I feel so bad for Jerome. He did not deserve to die the way he did. I'm actually a little bit nervous. Wait, this is the apartment? Get the fuck out. The engraving reads, Jermone, cheers to the beginning of forever. Love, Leonora. It smells of decent whiskey, cheap cologne, and old cigarettes. Oh my god, look at this. This guy had a whole bunch of this. Oh man. I mean, thanks for the drugs. I'll take it. I'll... I'll sell it. I'm not going to use it, but still, I just, I don't know. I feel so bad for not only Jerome, but Leonora, honestly. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I just don't like to be the bearer of bad news. I really don't. Especially when it comes to stuff involving with loved ones, but... She needs to know. She deserves to know what happened, so... You find anything out there, you let me know. I'm ready to get off this rock. I found your husband's flask. That's it, all right. Law. Still smells like his whiskey, his cigarettes, and that awful cologne he bathed in every morning. Here. I saved up for this just in case I needed to go out into the ruins myself. Truth be told, I'm glad I never had to use it. You didn't happen to find anything else out there, did you? My god. I'm not gonna lie to her, sorry. So, I found his journal. He went mad after the evacuation and became a marauder. A marauder? You're telling me he's been alive all this time? Yeah. Don't tell me that's the end of it. Was there anything else? So, there's simply no way of knowing where he is now. You're right. My Jerome deserved better. But deserving isn't the same as getting in this rotten colony. Jerome got me out of Corgan. I can honor his memory by staying out. Time to hit the dusty trail. Be seeing you, stranger. This is what he wanted. Go live your life. It was a harsh truth, Captain, but a necessary one for her to hear. Thank you for watching this episode. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.